everyone, it's Colleen. Um, today I'm in my bathroom so you might hear me echo a little bit. Um, but today is kind of going to be like a little vlog thing. Um, so I guess I'll start off by talking about my hair. As you can see, it has faded a lot. I'm going to be explo <laughs> exfoliating and putting on a mat like a mask thingy with whatever I have in my cabinet over here. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to be talking with you as I do this. Um, uh, some parts I'll fast forward through obviously. Um, but like I'll, I'll try to talk with you guys kind of like kind of like a de-stress Sundays but it's just going to be a vlog Wednesday. I guess. I'm actually recording this on Tuesday, but I will be posting it Wednesday. So, vlog Wednesday. <laughs> um, so let me tell you what I'm going to be trying to do <laughs> with my hair. Now, I, I've never personally dyed my own hair. Um, so this is the first time, and I guess this is going to be interesting. I'm a little scared, but you know what, whatever. It's only semi-permanent dye it'll it'll fade out so if it looks horrible then whatever <laughs> um so what i'm going to try to do i'm going to try um to do like this bottom layer bottom section purple and then the rest of like the top of my head pink so the majority is still going to be pink um so when i let it down you'll just get little glimpses of purple mixed in with hopefully the really bright pink so i guess let's let's do this the bottle says i have to shampoo and towel dry my hair before i put it in put the dye in my hair so i will be right back after i wash my hair okay i'm back um <laughs> So I washed my hair um, with this Neutrogena Anti-Residue Formula. Um, I don't know, I just think it's uh, like stronger like, to really get in there and get out all of the oil and dirt and products and stuff. Um, I also use um, really hot water, so hot water with this anti-residue shampoo. Um, hopefully that'll give me a better canvas to work with and get rid of some more of that other pink so I can put the new color on. Um, so let me take my hair down. I don't really see um, hmm, much of a difference, but that is some crazy hair, huh? <laughs> All right, so let me start combing this out with my big brush here. Okay, so now that I brushed out my hair, I'm going to start um, parting it, like separating where I want, like, that part that I was talking about. <laughs> and like I've said, I've never done this myself, and I've never had two extreme colors, abnormal colors, than natural hair is um my natural hair is like a dark chocolate brown um so i'm just i'm just gonna comb with this finer comb to get all of the little little tangles out <laughs> and then i'm gonna start to separate my hair Okay, so let me let me try to work out where exactly I want those layers. Um, <laughs> that's a little too thin. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Uh, I'm just winging it really. Because like I said, I I didn't like how my hair was fading out too. And then after I do this, um, a little bit more down there. Okay, alrighty. 
then after I do this, I'm going to take a big clip to hold this top section up. There we go. So I'm going to be putting purple first, and then I'm going to wait to cover it with the shower cap, plastic cap, um, until I get the pink up here first, and then I'll cover it and maybe blow dry it, like use a hair dryer or something, or just wait maybe for 30 minutes to 45 minutes. Okay, oh, these gloves are sticking to me. Let's just, let's just do it. Okay. Ooh. Oh my, ooh. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> Um, so I guess I'll really start the vlog and talk to you guys about what's been happening. <laughs> um, I've had another dentist appointment yesterday, uh, Monday of this week, and I was really proud of myself. Actually, I I wasn't I was scared. Um, don't get me wrong, but I didn't. Um, I didn't cry, I didn't um, freak out, I didn't have a panic attack, um, so, <laughs> oh, I hope this turns out okay. Also, uh, a guy from my school, my um, advisor, one of my advisors called me also yesterday, on Monday, um, asking me if I'm coming back to school um, and I told him that I, I really don't know um, and that I've been thinking about it and I'm, I'm more on the side of not going back just from all of the stuff that's been happening um, and also, I feel like I have more confidence in myself and in my photography out of school, which is a little weird. So I, I'm really, really thinking about not going back. Um, but I've talked with my parents, and I've I've told them there are so many other ways. Um, so many other ways for me to learn photography. Um, I'm already starting my business by um, my I'm making a website for for myself. Ooh, that was a lot. Um, and that's going pretty well. <laughs> it's almost completed. I'm. <laughs> I'm putting a bio about myself on there and galleries of my own pictures to show off my work and what I can do. I'm also setting up my own uh, Facebook for my business. Um, so when those two are up, of course I'm going to be putting those in the description. Um, I also have a couple other things that I want to start to get um, set up. I want to start setting up an Etsy account. Um, I've wanted to do an ex Etsy account for quite some time, um, but now I'm having this idea about um, <sighs> um, for my creativity at work, like the things that I make on that that I would um, put on this Etsy store so you guys can purchase them if you want. Um, so I just thought that that would be a nice thing to do, um, a cool thing to do. Um, just give a little bit more interaction with everybody who watch my videos. Um, I'm also going to be setting up a Facebook page to, for um, my YouTube channel. All of those social media things. Um, 
So if you've seen my outfit of the day with um, the huge sweater, the huge green sweater, um, then you probably know that my grandma was in the hospital because she fell um, and that she fractured her pelvic bone. Um, she's in a rehab facility now. Um, she's doing much better. She is doing much better. And hopefully she'll be going home soon. I think I'm done putting the dye in my hair. So now I'm going to take this shower cap and just put it on my head. But I'm going to I'm going to try to um wrap up my hair just a little just to hold it there so I can put the shower cap on. Um, and now I'm going to be using this peel-off mask. Apply evenly to face, avoiding eye area. Leave on for 5 to 10 minutes, and then, or until dry. And then gently peel off mask, and then rinse with warm water. So, I'll just be here five, for 5 to 10 minutes. So now I'll just dance for you. that it has dried a lot and especially around my mouth so I can barely talk um, <laughs> but now comes the fun part um, <laughs> Um, I'm going to use a blow dryer for a few minutes, maybe 5-10 minutes, mm, I don't know, just to heat it up. <laughs> now I'm going to rinse it out and um, can put some conditioner in and I will be right back. I love it. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to open the door because on the other side of the door it's white so hopefully you'll be able to see it a little bit better. Can you tell? <laughs> um, I guess I'll just see y'all next time. Bye.